It was 36 degrees today, really, really hot, but now it's much cooler. The birds are out and it's a good sign. So I'm back with the second PT weekly update from English with Ryan. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the recent exam questions that my students have reported. And uh, hopefully by watching this video and studying the questions, you have higher chances of passing the PTE test. Needless to say, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it now and like the video. It really helps my videos stand out and be shown to more people. Uh, people who need to watch these videos, people who need new materials. And it really helps me as well. So thank you so much. Now let's get into the second PT weekly update. Let's begin our PT weekly update of 11th of January 2022 with read aloud questions. So I will read each question once, then you can pause the video and try for yourself. In the animal kingdom, speed can mean the difference between life and death. Predators use their speed to overtake and overpower their prey, while animals with few other defenses rely on speed to avoid becoming dinner. In general, the unemployment rate in the United States is obtained by dividing the number of unemployed persons by the number of persons in the labor force and multiplying that figure by 100. There are, however, various ways of defining unemployed, each yielding a distinct unemployment rate. There is every reason to believe that effective regulations are not merely a luxury that only the rich can afford, but an important foundation for a thriving private sector and economic growth. But the broad pattern of the past five years has been that the main reform efforts are taking place in rich countries. Despite a number of events in recent years devoted to language diversity, language endangerment, and multilingualism, such as the International Year of Languages, public awareness of the issues is still remarkably limited. Only one in four of the population knows that half the languages of the world are so seriously endangered that they are unlikely to survive the present century. And the last question of Read Aloud. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. Let's go to repeat sentence questions now. I would like you to listen. Pause the video and repeat. As our population increases, we continue to understand more about the environmental challenges facing our planet. There are a number of ways that you can gain entry into an undergraduate degree. A combined degree gives you an advantage for employment in competitive and rapidly changing workplaces. The contemporary literature works have been broadened and extended through interpretation. Moving up the class ladder also brings unexpected costs. Remember, your essay should have less than 2,000 words. Put the eggs in the center of the dish with the vegetables and herbs around the edge. The economics faculty building is located on City Road. Our university welcomes postgraduate students from all over the world. Read the safety instructions before using the equipment during the workshop. Presentation skills are important to both universities and workplaces. Any texts or references you make should be cited appropriately in the bibliography. The purpose of this study is to investigate the student's communication skills and communication needs. Now time to move on to describe image. This is the first question. It's about natural gas. Henry Hobbs spot price and as you can see you have US dollars per million British thermal units. Then you have numbers from 0 to 16 and you have uh, 1997 to 2021. Uh, so you can use annual and monthly also data driven. Um, and as you can see, well, it's a line graph. So again, those of you who know what to do with this question, you know how to use the information provided uh, to have a fluent delivery of describe image questions. So as you can see, this one is a cafe or cafeteria. So there is a barista 
and uh, a customer what else do you see here you have coffee beans you have a bag or some bags uh, you have the menu the prices I guess sanitizers the familiar scene now this question is about food chain so it begins with grass as the producer and it goes up to grasshopper as the primary consumer then frog as the secondary consumer snake as tertiary consumer and hawk as the final consumer this one is um, quite a repeated question south america rainforests so you have uh, tropical rainforest and temperate rainforest um, you have all these countries you have pacific ocean so you can mention these countries and put them in the template that you use to get the maximum score out of this this is uh, quite a new question and a lot of students have reported seeing this you have uh, Afghanistan's domestic revenues compared to operating budget in millions in million dollars then you have numbers from zero to thirty five hundred dollars and uh, fiscal years 1388 to 1392 you have the domestic revenues and operating budget uh, specified with two colors and that's it for retail lecture, these topics actually appeared in the exam recently. Office environment, museology, manager, city of Rome, boys and girls performance, Alaskans well-being, frogs, desert ants, internet and children, and energy challenge. If you don't have access to the audio, let me know and I can help you get those audio files. Let's go to answer short question now. What do we call a person who leaves college before finishing the studies? The answer is drop out, like a college dropout. What do we call the people who move from one country to another country, usually for work or a better life? Um, migrants or immigrants. What do we call buying and transporting goods from another country? That's import. What is the opposite of horizontal? That's vertical. What protects birds from the cold? Feather. What is the main building of a large company or an organization? Uh, HQ or headquarters. What do we call a dream that is very frightening or unpleasant? That's nightmare. Speaking of nightmare, when you get 64 or 78, <laughs> that's a nightmare. What do you call a period of a thousand years? That's millennium. What does subterranean mean? Sub means under, ter means land or ground. So subterranean means underground. How many quarters are there in a calendar year? Four of them. When trains or cars need to go through a mountain, where do they enter the mountain? So that's a tunnel. And what do we call a person's move to a more important job or rank in a company? That's promotion. Beautiful. Now summarize written text questions. This first one is about the arts and as you can see these are the key points or the phrases like creative expression, storytelling, cultural participation, uh, modes of thinking, broad range of media and you have all these beautiful key points especially in the second paragraph. You can pause the video and uh, take a look at them. Now let's go to the second question atmospheric rivers this is also quite a recent and new question so that's your topic and these are your key points like long narrow bands of moisture in the atmosphere the tropics higher latitudes rivers in the sky uh, the mountains generating rain and snow disasters extreme flooding debris flows and you have all these beautiful key points Question three is about wetlands. So you have drain for development, the world's ecosystem, uh, a giant sponge absorbing water, releasing it, the sponge-like quality of wetlands, returning water to the ground, drought periods, and other beautiful key points. And now the last summarized written text question I want to talk about today is uh, about ambulances. So that's your topic. And uh, take a look at the key points vehicle types, configurations, the familiar minivan style, a pickup truck chassis, attached patient compartment, an assortment of life-saving equipment, and so on. Just pause the video 
and take a look at it for yourself. Now, what essay questions appeared in the exam recently? With the development of online shopping, more people prefer to buy things online rather than in the store. Do you think it's a positive or a negative development? I, for one, believe it's a positive thing for a number of reasons. Number one, you save time. Number two, you save money. Number three, you have more variety. Number four, you are not bound to one physical location. There are so many, actually. It's more convenient and, yeah, it's fun, too. Second question. Some people believe that everyone should be a vegetarian for its health benefits. Do you agree or disagree? Support with examples. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. You agree or disagree doesn't matter. The important thing is that you have enough reasons to support what you are saying. Make sure that you use a variety of words related to the topic of being a vegetarian. Also, words related to health benefits. If you want to go with vegetarian, you can say saving animals. Uh, it's green, it's healthy, this and that. And if you want to disagree with that, you might have your own reasons as well. Some people prefer temporary jobs over permanent positions. They do so for a number of reasons. Will you choose this kind of lifestyle? Why? Well, if you want to go with permanent positions, so you have better job security, uh, you have paid holidays, um, I don't know, you feel probably more loyal to the company. But if you go for temporary jobs, um, usually have higher pay, um, so you have more freedom. You can take some time off if you want to, and I'm sure you have better reasons. Next question, as countries develop more and more people regard pets as family members, what's your opinion? Support it with examples. So if you say yes, so pets are like kids basically, they give people a sense of parenting, they give them love, uh, they receive love, they care about their owners. Nowadays, some seniors choose to live in retirement communities while others prefer to live with their children. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each choice? If they choose retirement communities, there are some benefits and drawbacks. If they choose to live with their children, again, there are some benefits and drawbacks. So if they go to retirement communities, uh, so uh, they can actually spend time with the people of their age. Uh, they will not be bored. Uh, they have a lot of activities that they can um, engage in. Uh, but of course, uh, that love is missing. The love from kids is missing. Uh, that true connection could be missing. And if they choose to live with their children, sometimes they might get bored uh, because there isn't enough to do. Uh, or I'm sure you have a lot of reasons for this. You don't even need a lot. Two or three will be enough. And the last question of essay, doing research on new medicines and treatments is essential for improving health and dealing with diseases. Who do you think should fund these research projects, private companies or governments? If you go with private companies, you should say why. If you go with governments, you should say why. So think about it. I'm sure you'll find some very good reasons for each. Let's move on to reading and writing fill in the blanks, one of the most important questions in PTE. So let's do this. This one is about uh, the telescope and as you can see over here, uh, as the planet orbits around the sun. So to orbit means to go in orbit or to go around something. The second one is it's crucial to keep it protected. Crucial means super important. Uh, next one, from any heat or light that could drown out the faint signals of distant stars and planets. To drown out means to absorb or hide something or prevent that from being seen or heard or detected. As you know, mirrors are very delicate. So delicate means something that is quite fragile, that, that is easily broken or easily damaged, uh, something that needs uh, to be taken good care of. Intriguing gravitational properties uh, means the way they actually have gravity so they don't fly away. 
This next passage is about the invasive mosquito fish and uh, the first one is they run rampant. Run rampant means to run wild, to strike fear back into the hearts of these swimmers. Strike fear into the hearts of someone means to make them scared. Designed to mimic one of mosquito fish's natural predators. So mimic means copy. So unwanted is quite clear. Let's go to this next one. It's about African culture. African culture varies not only between national boundaries, but within them. One of the key features of this culture. So feature is clear. Large number of ethnic groups, different ethnicities raw materials and goods from landlocked parts of the continent so landlocked means wh where it is actually surrounded by land not water and it is impossible to characterize all of the african culture with one description to characterize means to describe something try to identify it time to take a look at reorder paragraph questions now, for reorder paragraph questions, I would like you to pause the video and uh, see the connections between and among these sentences for yourselves. Let's go to the second one now. This is the second one. It's about researchers studying a group of people from the University of Wisconsin Madison community. The next one is about clothing for children. Just pause the video and uh, see how they are related to each other. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move to reading fit in the blanks. This one is about um, gender inequality. So in African society, the gender peculiarities and patriarchal construct remain the bane across virtually all spheres of life. Patriarchal means where men um, have the power or men are more important than women. And construct is uh, basically the ideology, how something is constructed, how something is viewed, how something is regarded. Boys are brought up to see themselves. So bring up means to raise a child. They are brought up means they are raised. To see themselves as superior sex. Superior means better or higher than another one. The opposite of superior is inferior. And finally, even as appendages to the menfolk. Women or girls, females, are trained to see themselves as weaker sex or even as appendages. Appendage is uh, a small part that is a part of a bigger thing, not the most important part. Next reading fill in the blanks question. To be accepted as trustworthy, qualitative researchers must demonstrate that data analysis has been conducted. So, demonstrate is to show. Let's go down to this one now. With enough detail to enable the reader to determine whether the process is credible. Credible means believable and trustworthy. To determine means to show again. And uh, over here to conduct qualitative research. So for research, we use the verb conduct. Conduct research. Conduct means do. And the last one is conducting a rigorous and relevant thematic analysis. That's a beautiful collocation you should know. Next reading fit in the blanks question is about uh, books and children. So books introduce children to social life and provide them with the opportunity to expand their imaginary world. So expand means to broaden something, to make it bigger. Children can identify themselves. Identify means to find themselves, to find who they are. Therefore, the features of the heroes, features or qualities of someone have significant importance in terms of children's development. So, in terms of means with regard to. Next reading fill in the blanks question is about subculture. Subculture has long been seen as separate from or rebelling against mainstream culture. Rebel against means uh, not to obey something. In a multitude of aspects. In a multitude of means 
in many. Best positioned to analyze this culture is post-subcultural theory. Best position means it is in the best position to do such a task. And now the last question of reading fill in the blanks. This is about human communication. In human communication, the communicators involved in the interaction have an obligation to show politeness. Obligation means um, a moral duty or something that people must do for a successful conversation. Well, that's clear. Communicative act has the potential to infringe upon the public self-image of the addressees. To have the potential means something that can possibly happen or something that can possibly be in a particular way or manner. And this last one, importance of the needs of their interlocutors. Uh, the needs, well, that's super clear. Let's go to summarize spoken text now. These topics have appeared in the exams recently. So business, buying happiness, company culture, silent meetings, digital currency, masculinity contest culture, apology and profitability. Once more, if you don't have the audio files of these questions, let me know and I can help you get them. And finally, let's go to write from dictation. I would like you to listen, pause the video after each sentence and write it down as completely as you can. The number of international flights plummeted in the past 18 months. Schools regularly bring children to the museum for history lessons. An innovative scheme has been proposed by the students. Computers can be used to facilitate language learning. He tried to make his speech more entertaining. You must satisfy the qualifications to get a work permit. The issue on population growth has caused public concern. She has direct responsibility for all new trainees. The village obtains all its energy from renewable sources. Major restoration work in this site will begin in May. Fewer students are choosing science courses nowadays. Science fiction stories often mention robots that can talk. The trip has been extended to include a few other events. Pupils in our schools are taught in a secure environment. She is the chief executive of the country's largest charity. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I'll be back next Tuesday with the third PT Weekly Update.